And so begins the trek in the final missions to win the game. Let's go do mission um, 21 here, I guess. Now, before we start, I'm not that I managed to get like, youth here basically up to level 10. Basically, this is like my weakest Dragon Master, so I figure, like, you know, in comparison to, like, you know, Denny over here and, like, you know, um, the other one, Ive, I want to basically focus on getting, like, you know, some of, like, you know, you basically, like, you know, stats basically up a little bit, so I did. I'll probably focus on, like, um, the Never Abyss next. But yeah, I basically got her up except level 10. I used a whole bunch of, like, you know, my excess, like, Dragon Lances and Steel Lances to get, get her up here. She now at least has somewhat decent, like, you know, defenses here and magic defense, so... You know, a little bit more decent, basically, all around. I also managed to get Shia, basically, up, uh, like, a little bit here, so you can see, like, you know, she's up to level 7 as a warrior. Fairly good magic defense, fa fairly good defense. Also fairly good stats. I'll throw her into combat at some point. I think we used up, like, Jones, like, you know, Sorg Arp a little bit as well. Quince, of course, is, like, you know, a little bit better as well, I think. Feel. Alright, so. Let's just get to it, shall we? Now, I should probably note that going forward from here, I don't have, like, any idea what to sort of expect with the missions, but, you know. I'll follow along with a guy that's basically already, like, you know, present, and, like, you know, let's go with what we can. So, here we go. Tristan, after several victories, turns his head first into a trap. His rapid progress has left his flank unfarmable, and suddenly he, he's met on all sides by Imperial troops. Even woefully outnumbered, he refuses to surrender, waving the banner of the Alliance high even as Eltabaran's troops descend on him in unending waves. Back in Berlant, word spreads back to Alexis of what has happened to Tristan. He decides he has to bring the war to Ultra, otherwise the Alliance will be picked apart and defeated eventually. However, every main path towards Ultra from east and south is heavily fortified with castles and fortresses and high walls. Again, pulling a maneuver that no one is expecting. Alexis takes the narrow mountain path of Guina towards the highland. If he would have any chance, he will have to risk the winter and high mountains to bypass imperial defenses, defense lines. So, chapter 21. With Tristan dead and Ginistria kneeling to the Empire, Alexis is the only remaining leader of the once mighty alliance. Before he, he gets surrounded by United Imperial forces, Alexis plans another daring offensive, this time on the Imperial capital itself, and he plans to do this by crossing the Northern Mountains in the winter. We're almost there. Over there, the fork will lead us to the downhill towards south, to Highland. My lord, there's a small guard post between us and the path, and a Northman pursuing us from behind. When do you think they will be upon us? Their scouts hang around only out of arrow reach. I can already hear the riders' wings flapping. So either we get the heck off the mountain, this mountain fast, or we need to take the, um, that post to ward off the riders, eh? Alright, so it's basically two ways of basically playing this mission, by the way. You basically, like, you know, you escape, or you basically, like, you know, you kill off, like, the, the riders, so to speak. So, friends, the end of the mountain path is in sight. Let's go. So basically over here we have some guardsmen. These guys are nothing special, they have like steel bows and steel axes. Their stats are a little bit wanting, for sure. Now all these guys basically have equipped um, their arms by the way, because I basically like any arena, or I guess I wasn't with this with him, so put on the um, armor for uh, Denny. Probably there's some houses to visit in this one, so that'll be nice. To, like, you know, don't go do. Oops! I forgot to do something important. 
Not that it's too much of an issue, I can just have, like, you know, my healer basically heal him. That's a bit of an issue, she can't really move that fast, but whatever. She's in force right now as a thing, right? So... Well, let's just go like this. Drop you here. There we go. There's a quick heal for Yurf. That'll be enough to, like, you know, at least probably ward off, like, you know, an uh, instant threat from, like, those archers, I guess, so whatever. But yeah, everyone basically has their stuff equipped for most part, so... Let's just get moving. Yeah, this is a winter map, by the way, so, you know, you know, we have, like, you know, deep snow to run through. You know, in many ways, I assume the deep snow, so no, uh, these, uh, these, blah, the deep snow should be slowing you down a little bit, but whatever. Turn a large shield for her. I don't know why these guys have so many unequipped, um, you know, items, but it could be it's the fact that, like, you know, I switched, swapped them a little bit around, but whatever. It just goes to show, like, you know, they really need to have, like, some sort of feature where you can basically, like, you know, equip these guys basically in on the menu. But whatever. Over here. Well, I guess we'll be a little bit slow in this one. I was expecting us to go a little bit faster in this, but I guess, like, you know, the snow is like slowing us down. Oh, well, that's fine. It's in our slow map for the most part, that's fine. Enemies? What? Really? They must be crazy to take the mountain path in winter. Damn, they must be those Berlant soldiers. I hear they are demons. Oh, our reputation precedes us, I guess. Well, we'll send you over here. I guess they're slowed down just as much as I am, which is good, but whatever. Get you right there. Yo, I wanna like, you know, if this is like, you know, the train base is slowing down. Where's the map? I actually think it would be a good idea if I actually had a map which like, you know, slowed down like all your units to like half speed. But whatever. Get you here. Just uh, reach me right now.
to really start moving a healer basically like forward, so we'll start doing so. Pop! And let's just see here. Yeah, it looks like probably have like some movement points in the guard post, so there's that going for you, but whatever. Oh well, she can take probably a hit from one of those guys. They don't have like, you know, very powerful stuff. We'll see how it goes. Wow, there's a cave out there to visit. There's houses right here. Let's get you right there, though. That's fine. Send Alexis right here. Lock can go right there. Ah, they come from the north. Interesting. So, there's a couple of dragoons right there. Dragoon over there, apparently. I assume these guys aren't, like, you know, hampered by the, the train, so... Oh, they actually have armor and, and shields, too, so... There's a D-Master up there, as well. Wow, these guys don't appear to move at all. So, that's nice. Let's get you out of the way. There we go, Greg gets in here. There we go, you get over here. This might actually activate them to make them like come at me, but whatever. I really don't like, you know, feel threatened by these guys at all. So, let them do what they want. Yeah, okay, I got room for an item here, I guess, so... Let's go over here and we'll grab one. I heard there's another war going on in the south, but to see an army here. There's a cure? Why not? I kind of expect the enemies to pop up over here, by the way, but you know, I guess they come a little bit later. Oh, let's get you over here. I guess we'll send you over here to attack this guy. They're going to fly down toward us. Rockets shot it, that's fine. There's that archer. 
Looks like it's shot at. Yeah, these guys are just gonna, you know, just stay where you are, I guess. That works just fine. There we go. Our kill for Denny. I'll send her over here to like visit his cave, I guess, for now. Have mercy, my lord. We've only got a few shepherd boys here. Ooh, a high potion. Requires 20 HP as opposed to 10. Alright, let's get you over here. Ah, it seems like wasting you. Blast you instead. They're not exactly moving, right? So I'm just gonna, like, you know, sit there for the most part and let them do what they want. This is where I wish, like, you know, to was just a little bit faster, but whatever. Let's get you here. I'm sure I should have tweeted in front, basically, like, you know, in hindsight, but whatever. We're out to the side of the walls of the, of the outpost. A dragoon over there. So these guys pop in are a dragoon, a dragoon, and our D Master. So two dragoons and D Master, I guess, is what was popping up each time. So ooh, we're starting to get guys with better equipment now too. Alright, we'll also start off with, like, you know, this dragoon over here, I guess. Kill this guy off. And yeah, I'm not probably if, like, you know, critical these guys, they're just gonna go down e easily, but whatever. A little bit of damage right there. A little bit of damage right there. This is apparently a D Master I'm killing right here, by the way. Down he goes. I don't think there's any way of like escaping this guy, but we can put the healer out of the way, so put you here. If he attacks hold, I'm okay with that, so let me attack hold. I'm gonna go right here. Let's get you over here to his cave. Yeah, this would be like an excellent situation to have sort of like a, like, you know, a snow skill where like, you know, your movement isn't half in witchery landscapes. It really should be like, you know, um, basically they have a lot of like, you know, skills that are like terrain based, but they should have like a map based one where like, you know, if you're on a winter map, then like, you know, maybe like you like don't start penalties from like that map, like, you know, you know, movement penalties and stuff like that. 
Eh, we're not gonna do that. Let's just put you right here. You know what? I don't really care about this guy. Let's just finish him off your sword. Down he goes. There we go. Attack bear, so... He's a lance to the face for it. Oh, there goes that one. We're gonna climb in here now. Oaking right here. I'll send a healer right there. You're gonna go right here. I better sort these guys later on, but Laura, that's fine. You find some words carved in the cave walls that seem very old. The end of the world is imminent. Repent before God. Yay! Meter spell! I guess they're gathering up before they assault us. Or they're gonna show up, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to get some stuff. So basically over here I'll have like, you know, constant stuff basically show up, but whatever. Alright, he's a little bit far out here, but that's fine. I'm going to show off something about, like, you know, this Dragoon here, by the way. So, I'm just going to throw him out here for a moment. I'll attack this guy up here. Or miss. I'll leave him out there for a little bit. I think he's fine. You've got the Lombo, so let's fire this guy here a little bit. I'll take that kill. I'm actually moving these guys basically in a little bit, so they're like in a box, so... Do it like that. Let them come. I was going to make it toward the entrance, but it makes more sense to sort of like bo box yourself up in here, I guess, so... Basically, you can win this mission two ways. Either kill all the enemies or, like, just escape, so... We're gonna go with the latter option, just kill them all. You know what? Go have some fun. There we go. It's fun to be had here. Oh, Dan's going to kill her. There's a lot for, for Denira. Very crappy one, but okay. Looks like they're slowed down as well as I, I am, so that's nice to see, by the way. 